I got a pretty good uh, challenge that we've never done for a bit later in this call, which I'm excited for. But I, I want to be straight up. Like, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm going to tell you how it is. And I believe that that's the best way to help. DMs, cold calling, email. You have to know where your niche stands, where they're at. If you can have as ads instead of it's even better because, bro, it's just so much cheaper. It's definitely worth it because it's something that you're going to use for a long time. I wanted to talk about something which is a little bit more of like the overview of business and how to sell and shit like that and how people are actually selling. And this is something that all of you guys have to understand. This literally changed my life and it'll literally change your life too. It's actually insane how simple it is as well, but like no one's doing it, right? So you should never prioritize learning from gurus. You should always think about how they're selling and the systems that they're using to sell to you. And as soon as I realized that, it literally changed everything. And you have to also understand that it's a bit different. Most gurus are selling via, you know, selling the shovel uh, business model because it's just easier to sell that than most things because, you know, it's the vehicle of whatever the business already wants to do and they need that to achieve whatever goal they want to achieve, right? So for example, it can be scaling, getting clients, outreach, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's for agencies, but you know, for, for SMMA, it could be, you know, more appointments, more sales, which is what most of you guys are doing, right? Most of these gurus are selling something completely different. The strategy applies to the same, like it's the same, right? It ends up being the complete same. Oh, like I'll give you guys an example. All of these gurus are always saying, do outreach, do outreach, do outreach, uh, do DMs, et cetera, et cetera. Literally all of them run ads and they don't tell you about that, right? And I've taught you guys how to do client acquisition ads because I think it's super important, but I'm only going to teach you guys the things that I find valuable and the things that make me money and the things that I find that are, that are the best to run this business. And yeah, I mean, I teach everything that I use to sell myself because that's what I think is the most valuable. So that's what I'm going to show right now. So this is literally the guru strategy right here. You start off with content. That sounds super simple. I know. So for me, it's TikTok and YouTube. For other people, it's like reels and shit. But you know, I can't do reels because I don't want I don't want the girls to think that I'm cringe and shit. Like I got I gotta keep that Instagram clean. You know what I'm saying? So what I do is I have three TikTok accounts uh, and two people run them. I'm gonna upgrade to to some more in the future. Uh, and then I run the YouTube, obviously, right? This can be very expensive if you're outsourcing it. For example, my team charges me almost two hundred dollars per YouTube video. Uh, per TikTok is like thirty five or, or forty. So it can get really, really expensive, but it's definitely the number one thing that made me the most money. So once you funnel people, for example, TikTok should funnel people into your YouTube. Ideally, you want to have free opt-ins. Free stuff is what gets people like, ah, you know, have you ever seen someone run an ad for a free course or a free book? Like you, you must be thinking like, how the fuck is this person making any money? They're running ads. They're paying to run ads to sell something completely free. It makes no sense. Right. But here's literally what they're doing. They do the free opt-in. I started doing, so this is literally proof that it works. They do the free opt-in. For my example, it's to a newsletter or a Discord. But my Discord also links to the newsletter. I've started to do a bunch of like, you know, the free course and just like other things that I just give away for free. Webinars, trainings, et cetera, et cetera. You can literally give that away and get people to opt into your newsletter. I got, I think, almost 2K people in just two weeks. And here's some examples of the shit that I gave, right? Free course, free training, free resources, free scripts. And you can do this for absolutely any niche. Like if you're in MedSpot, you can literally give away free ad samples, free ad scripts and stuff like that for free, or like a tutorial on how to run ads or something like that. Anything that doesn't give away too much information, right? Just enough for them to learn something valuable uh, where you're providing some free value. The Discord as well. I collect a bunch of people. We just hit 30K today. We already gained 600 today as well. Once you collect people in a group, in a concentrated group, it can be WhatsApp. It can be Telegram, which is what Serge is doing right now. It could be Discord, whatever channel, Facebook group, right? It depends on your niche. Some med spa owner is not going to hang around on Discord. They're going to be like, what the fuck is this, right? So you can probably do like Facebook, right? For example, for them. Yeah. So the idea is just collecting people in a group. The newsletter is the same. Once that person opts in, you already have them inside of your email newsletter forever until they unsubscribe, obviously, right? And then you give away even more free stuff. Within that newsletter, within that Discord, you give away these like opt-ins, free course, free training, free scripts, Whatever you want, whenever they apply for the free thing, they're going to get an email, right? So let's say that they go here. I don't know if this is still working. It is. Okay, perfect. Once they click submit, they're going to get the email with the free shit. But underneath, once you give it to them, you can add a little call to action for something that's paid. 
So once they see, okay, this person's offering like a bunch of free value, like let me see, you know, what he's selling. This is literally the strategy. I don't want to, I don't want to call out people in the industry to do this. There's two people who make a shit ton of money and newsletter is literally what they mainstream on. They give away shit for free and then they email newsletter. And it can be shit that's motivational. It can be free resources. Bro, Andrew Tate's an example. He literally mainstreams newsletter. And once you give away free shit, send in promos in the newsletter, you send in promos after the free training. So you can, in the newsletter, you can have the free training and then underneath you have a little call to action. Discord promos or Facebook promos or whatever, you know, in your group, uh, maybe once a week. Or if you're growing your Instagram page, which I'm not because I'm shy and I want the girls to, you know, like me. I don't want them to think I'm cringe and shit. Uh, you can send in like every week or so, just sending a little promo, promoting whatever you're selling. And yeah, I mean, in the free opt-ins as well. So like, let's say that you have a free course, which I have, right? I happen to have that. In some of the modules, I promote my program, right? So the free things are a vehicle, funnel them into the paid things. It's much easier to sell someone that's already paid a small amount, whether it's, you know, like a really, really cheap course or, or something that's free, rather than selling them on something that they have no part in and youtube too like description um ads shit like that so i'll give you guys an example of me because i love giving examples of me so you guys can understand that this actually works and it's not just like some random shit that i'm talking about origins as soon as i started origins three people made money from origins moved up to my higher ticket mentorship i would have not sold out three people if they didn't enter origin so they joined my discord because it was free value and then they joined the low ticket and then they joined the high ticket so it was go from completely free just like spamming them with free value and then sell them it's as simple as that i want to hear i want to fire 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 that's fire bro does this does this make sense though yeah, yeah. definitely yeah you're like funneling, I mean, funneling them down i like it exactly you're like a little bro, uh, I, undertake i funnel hacked like three major people to really understand how this worked harder if you don't have an audience so that's why i put content at the beginning i'll give you guys another example joe i don't know if you guys know who joe is uh he's in the mentorship and he was telling me hey arturo like i have all these people who are getting on calls with me i'm getting a ton of booked calls but they're unqualified and they can't afford it and i said okay you have two options what i recommended him to do was add a little form so if you're getting a ton of booked calls but they can't afford it what you can do is add a little survey so as soon as they book in a call you can add the price of your service straight away but this is like if you're getting like a ton of volume and you're getting a ton of people who can't afford it like if you can't afford it you're not scheduling the call so i told him you can implement that if you want and he said no i don't because you know i also have a low ticket and you know, I want to get these book called blah, 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 whatever. So I said, okay, so why don't you create a group chat on WhatsApp or Telegram or create a newsletter where anyone who can't afford it, you put them on there and you provide free value. And the goal being to help them make money. And once they make money and you help them, they're going to want to pay for whatever you're trying to sell them. So that's the idea with this, um, the guru strategy. But yeah. I want to hear how some of you guys would implement it yourselves. All right, Kenny, What's how up? would you how would you implement this into your business? Because I know you're starting to push content a lot. Yeah, so I would just start doing it by similar to how you're doing it, to be honest. Just offering free value in exchange for like contact details. Like honestly, you have to actually try to help people, like because then like you're like investing into them in the future, right? If for example, I don't know, it's just straight up like Toro has been helping me a lot because like if I do well, then Origins as well, then mentorship does well. Like it looks good on both parties. So um, that's how I'm doing it. In terms of if I was to do it for like an agency or whatever, depending on the niche. So like my niche i would probably start either doing a big like facebook channel and then getting people to talk by like posting their success stories if you're doing content uh post some sick content that you've made for them or any inspiration that way and then they can kind of bounce off that and say like oh i want something like that or whatnot and yeah just keep keep doing that because if you're doing content a content agency you can always like throw in like video ideas or like scripts and stuff like that so then they can start planning out their next month's calendar yeah and here's the thing, if you're helping these people and you have a free chat and you have like a results chat, bro, that's literally free testimonials off of what you doing something, you sharing something that you already have that costs you absolutely nothing to share that you're sharing to a big audience. It's not like you're helping people one-on-one -on -one and it's time consuming or none of that. You're sharing something that you already have. It can be a script. It can be a strategy. It takes no time to record yourself for 10 minutes talking about some shit that you know that they don't and sharing that with them for free value. With that, that's why I origins is here like you can ask people to like show you some love like you know that's we're all here for each other so like the community you know we give you like honest feed like honest feedback like hey like try this next time and that's how you learn like if they're like oh this bit's shit hopefully they say like oh uh, it's bad because like you know the you're not even standing in the middle of the camera or like there's no lighting or something like that you just pick it up as you go
And here's the thing, bro. When I started, I was like, bro, I can't do YouTube videos. Like that's, that's so cringe. I was like, I can't, what if it fails? And it was actually my editor who was like, bro, stop being a bitch and start recording videos and I'll take care of the rest. And I was like, shit, all right, bet. And guess what? It worked out, but I, I want to be straight up. Like, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm going to tell you how it is. And I believe that that's the best way to help you. Have you tried video ads? Um, I just started running ads for Origins, in fact. I might do it for on TikTok just because the cost per click is just so low and just uh, give away free things and run ads for it. But for lawyers, I'm not sure that would work. I don't, I'm not sure if lawyers just sit around on TikTok or not. That's what but I'm I, thinking if I should just make videos, like run ads on TikTok for because on my niche is like real estate and mortgage brokers. So oh, I'm debating on running video ads. Here's the thing. If you can run any type of ads, you should, because that's literally an automated client acquisition system. It costs a bit more in, on average, but it's definitely worth it because you can have that running plus a free channel of outreach, like DMs, cold calling, whatever. If you can have TikTok as ads instead of Facebook, it's even better because, bro, it's just so much cheaper because there's, there's no one really doing it that much, you know? Like there's no big volume of concentrated people who are running ads on TikTok all the time. So there's less competition and it just works better for you. So if you can do that, then 100% do it. But I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't even tried paid ads. Like I didn't even feel like doing it on Facebook just because I felt like a lot of people were doing it. And honestly, like the Facebook ads don't even look appealing. They Bro, don't even look. That's a like, no offense belief. to you. Like even if it, if it works, it works. But I don't know. It just doesn't even look. If you look nice. at my ads, like I would never click on that shit. That's what I'm saying. Like I won't, I would not click on that. I've seen ads that are like little scribbles, like drawings and shit, and it works. It doesn't matter what you find appealing or what you think looks good. For example, for my videos, my TikTok videos, I don't necessarily agree that it looks good, but it works. And that's what matters. I didn't necessarily like them at the start, you know? So my question is basically I do cold calling. That's my main form of outreach. And I actually don't know, like once I have a, like a potential prospect, what should I send them in the email? Like in only the, the Zoom link or like, should I like, yeah, no, no. So like if my VA books an appointment and he sends me the email address, should I just send them the Zoom link or should I like explain my services again? Bro, you should have them on some sort of sequence. Look, I'll show you. This is also to like improve your show rate. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm struggling with. Like sometimes they just don't show up. And I think it's something to do with my email. So as soon as they book in a call, we do a yeah. couple of things. We send them a little introduction email saying, hey, we have different people in my team who handle the calls. So we have the initial cold caller who's calling in the, the new leads and what she does is literally just booking the call so we have qualifications initial script etc cetera, etc cetera, and then we have them booking a call if they don't book in a call from the ad right i'm doing this example because i know you're doing cold call so what we have them do is just repeat a bunch of times when the call is so they don't fucking forget and you should add in instructions to where you're like okay you're gonna get an email now to add this to your calendar and that's one of the most important things that you should do make sure they add it to the calendar one of the things that won't make them forget and then what we do is we send them a personalized email. My email is just basically saying we will help you achieve goal X or whatever, whatever. And then another thing that helps increase show rate a lot is this. So once they book in a call, if they book in a call straight away from the ad or from the email, they get sent to this. They get redirected to this automatically. And this video is one minute. All it includes is pretty much the next step. Add this to your calendar. Here's what we're going to talk about during the call. If you miss this call, we're not going to reschedule it just so they make sure that they show some testimonials, what to expect in the call, et cetera, et cetera. This page increased my show rate a lot. So add them on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. So the VA will go on these social medias and send them a little message saying, hey, good to connect. We have a call, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. And then what we usually always do as well is we call the prospect. So it can be in the same day, a few hours before the call or a day before. You just call them and be like, hey, how's it going? Like, are you, are you ready for tomorrow's call? Like, uh, you got any questions, et cetera, et cetera. So you want to keep it personal as much as you possibly can. Because if you call someone and they talk to you on the phone, they're more likely to show up to the call, right? If I called one of you guys and we had a scheduled call, you'd be like, okay. You know, I'm, I know I'm going to talk to him. So that's that. If someone schedules a call directly through the ad and they have no human contact with you whatsoever or any personalized contact, just basic scripted emails uh, in a sequence, they're very likely not to show up. Okay. Also, yeah, that makes also sense. one little key thing that I had no idea was possible that I just learned literally a few days ago that I should have had. This is before switching from Calendly because Calendly does this automatically. When you're here in confirmation, put allow Google Calendar to send an invitation. So this will automatically send them an invitation to their Google Calendar. So when they open up their calendar, they will get an event that says blah, 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 whatever, whatever. And then they can go on, for example, they can go, they can click going or not. 
And if they click yes, well, it'll automatically appear in their calendar, right? And you can also send automation emails. What I do is in the email, once they book in a call, in every single email, I always add this. You can add the meeting to ensure that you don't miss it. And we add in, you know, this basic thing to predetermine, like appointment add to Google Calendar, whatever. And then we add to reschedule your call, click here or email us. Yes, in respect to our time, if you miss the call, you will not be allowed to reschedule. So I know that everything that I just said is a lot of work to do for each book, book call. But if you want your show rate to be over 80%, then that's what you have to do and more. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. And that's just the reality. Like, it's very hard to get booked calls and just have them on a basic sequence and reminders, et cetera, that it'll keep your show rate good. Like, it's just not realistic. And yes, I do mentorship one-on-ones. Arthur, it's kind of off topic a little bit, but for your website and your Calendly and whatever, do you have that connected through Go High Level, like the WordPress integration shit? That is not off topic. So what I do is, I'm not exactly sure, but because I got someone to make a website for me. But for example, in the website template that we give out for free, it's the same. You can go on there and when you're editing it on WordPress, you click on the widget or whatever. And in between the quotation marks, there's a link and you can either put your Calendly link or your Go High Level Calendar link and it'll automatically integrate it onto your website. So it doesn't matter if you're using Calendly, it doesn't matter if you're using Go High Level. I use Go High Level because if you have Go High Level, there's no point in using Calendly, right? You're just paying for extra things. And then yeah. in between, yeah, the thing you can just add in your link and then automatically change. Talk about how you're running your operations and how you're keeping it consistent because I know a lot of people are able to do you know a ton of outreach but then when it comes to keeping it consistent they struggle with that yeah so basically um I'm doing my agency with two of my other friends so uh, we kind of split the work in between three people and it, that helped me out a lot like honestly that's such an advantage and so we have having a, a manager or delegating work yeah yeah or just splitting into three like for <laughs> example I have to do a meeting today my friend can't make it today but he can fix the calendar on go high level next day it's just kind of like we synchronize it. So the VA always, every response that he gets, puts it on the tracker. And then whoever has the time to give him a good response for what he should get, it's just like, yeah, when's a good time we can call you, drop your cell phone number. And then every time they put their cell phone number, I give my VA like a 50 cent bonus. So he really wants to like get that number out of them instead of just like doing his numbers and then leaving. Yeah. Yeah. Right. When they drop their number, we call them and then try to book them for a demo meeting. And then literally like since I started doing Facebook, the demo meetings have been like on the come up because I do Cairo. So like emails were doing jack shit for me. So Facebook was it. Yeah. We just kind of manage it like that. So like each, each niche, each outreach method should depend on what niche you're servicing. Would you agree? hundred percent. hundred percent. Like I have a friend that's also doing lawyers and he wants to start and he's doing just cold callers and that's doing wonders for him. But when he was just doing emails, he yeah, was doing it didn't nothing. work. I'm, I'm pretty sure you could like relate to, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, questions, questions. I don't know how to make that calendar be synchronized with my doctor's time. So for example, let's say they want to book at 2 p.m. That's Maybe easy. My how? I'll show you right now, he, bro. This is the same, bro. Whether you have a closer, whether it's for your client, whatever, you just literally add them on here. Once you add them, like you can put in their info and make their password, whatever, whatever. And then you simply have them connect their Google calendar. So they go into integrations and you just have them click sign in. Like you can see here. my. But his calendar isn't on Google. It's on this other thing called Jane. Can Jane connect to Google calendar? Mm, if it can't, I, then it's trash. So. so here's what you can have them do. Cause I've had this problem too where they don't use Google Calendar. But that's fine because most softwares out there connect to Google Calendar, like literally 99% of them. So what you can do is just have him connect to Google Calendar. My closer could use Apple Calendar, whatever. It's connected to Google Calendar. If, and if it's not, you just have him make it, right? Because yeah. everything that automatically goes into the Google Calendar will go to whatever calendar he wants to use, right? Once that's done, you yeah. go to the calendar, calendar settings, whatever, and then you go to edit and then you just connect the calendar and you click two way. So this basically makes it so anything that he has going on in his calendar, people won't be able to book. And then in availability, tell you, you just ask your client, when are you available on what days, what times? And then people will only book within those times. So I can make an account, link it to one of my, because I don't want to have him log into the Go High level and all that and create an account. Yeah, so I'll just perfect. do that. Exactly. Me. And then you just ask him, you know, when he's willing to take calls, when he's available to take calls. And then you connect it here. So anything he's got going on won't interfere in the same way. You always have to put two way. Remember that. And then boom, that's done. In confirmation, make sure you put that so it allows it to send him a thing. And then a redirect is always really important. You can have them create like a an after page on what to expect, testimonials. Uh, maybe some free shit. I don't know. Make sure on agency view, you also 
um, at their time zone because like those times could mean any time. So make sure oh, I yeah. interview you yeah. out there. For like, bro, I'm I in, can show you. Real quick. I'm in uh, GMT time zone, and my closer is in EST, and my entire go high level is in EST. Just because I don't take the call, so for me it doesn't matter. So make sure you always put in the time zone of your client. And then you go into like settings, business info. Yeah. And then it should say some top shit right, about... I think. Top right, top right. There you go. Yeah, just pick whatever time. Okay. How you make uh, ads on TikTok? Bro, ads on my TikTok agency? are the easiest ads to make. How you will make it or my niche will be real estate. Bro, easy. Here, there. I'll make the ad for you right now. Attention all right now. realtors. Attention all realtors. Uh, if you want X amount of bookings or X amount of potential deals for real estate, um, uh, home this buyers is... or home sellers, like let's say 30 in 30 days, uh, book in a free demo call where I can show you how to do it yourself. And then, uh, I don't know, it depends on your offer, right? But you literally just make a video like that, make it super captivating. For TikTok, it'll definitely work for realtors. Do you mean the technical side of setting it up? Uh, yeah, that will be awesome. Or, or like the video yeah. itself. No, no, no. Oh, yeah the video is told uh, just to know how to make you know so yeah look i can show you the ads i did for origins for tiktok um here i'll show you most of our students are booking five calls every single day with possible business owner clients and how are they doing this they're using our proven methods from origins origins is a program that literally creates your agency for you gives you all of these tools and has live coaching calls every single week to help you. If you could get all one. of this, your That's entire agency branding name generated for you and live coaching calls every single week, teaching you how to run the business for only $49, would you do it? But you get a little idea. Like I just literally just sat in front of the camera and just said some random shit just to yeah. test if the ads would actually work in some case. If, if you need someone to do them for you, I can connect you with my editor. It's $10 per video, no matter how many videos you want to make, you know, but it's definitely worth it because it's something that you're going to use for a long time. Perfect. Setting it up is super easy. You literally add your targeting. You make a few of them. I did, for, for example, for Origins, I did all of the targeting related to what I would try and target. And then I did one that was purely mentorship tags. And then one that was purely dropshipping tags. And one that was purely online courses tags. So you want to have one that's overall everything that you want to target. And then individual ones. So a bunch of dropshipping keywords, a bunch of mentorship keywords, a bunch of online businesses keywords, et cetera, et cetera, depending on your niche or whatever you're offering. And then you add your videos to all of them, the same ones. It's like a dynamic ad type thing. You can add the four videos to all of them. You can test out different, you know, I keep it really simple. I, th I think it was like sign up now or like break free now or escape the matrix, some, some bullshit like that. And then you add your link for you guys. It would be like a scheduling link to book in a call. And bro, it's as simple as that, literally just that you add a little budget and and whatever do you think you need like a high daily budget or not Can no not for off, tiktok like, i think that you, like, you, you don't need a high budget for anything you just test it and if it works you just increase it there's no need to set a budget straight away you recommend tiktok even for client acquisition for cairo as well i don't have enough experience to recommend it but i would definitely say give it a try it literally will you know the cost of testing it is so minor compared to what you could make if it works what does it cost you like 30 bucks 50 bucks but if it works you're going to be saving so much money versus doing ads on for example facebook it's not going to work for every niche like no, even it's worth the test it's literally worth yeah. that even like normal forms of outreach, normal channels of outreach, like, you know, SMS, uh, voicemail drops, outreach, DMs, cold calling, email, you have to know where your niche stands, where they're at. SMMA owners, they're all over Facebook, they're all over Discord. A football coach might not be on his email all the time. He's not going to be on Discord, for example. So you have to know where your niche sits. A lot of people are commonly on Facebook. Cold calling usually works for every niche. It's a super broad way of outreaching. So that usually works. Let's do the challenge. So the challenge for next week is to do a, this is based on what I presented today for the free opt-ins and stuff. So the challenge for next week is to do a free opt-in. So give away something for free in return of collecting an email or having them join a group chat or some way of collecting something from them that it doesn't cost them anything upfront. And just so you guys know, every opt-in that I've made, I think the first one took me like 30 minutes to make. But after that, I literally just duplicate it, change the text and image. And I always use the same shit, except the reward is always different so it's super simple once you once you have it handled construct a free opt-in it can be a 
you know, a course, script, training, webinar, Loom, et cetera, et cetera. Literally anything. Isla, what, what niche are you in? Cairo. What would you give away to a chiropractor? Everyone who makes a ton of money in this industry leads with value. They give away free stuff. Oh, I can give it. them scripts to call, to use to call the, the leads once they book appointments. Perfect. A lot of you guys also don't think about how you're selling towards a client. Your goal here is to help them achieve their goal, not to make money. Obviously, you want to make money, but you have to help them. What would you recommend? Sending emails or letting them join to the group? Both. Because people are always lurking in different places and you don't really know exactly where they prefer to be or where they're going to see it more, right? Some person might have notifications on their email. Maybe you'll land in their spam. You know, it's always different. So having as much people collected in different places and having the variation will always help you. So I have people on Discord. I have people on email. I have people on my Instagram. Just have as much as you can. Okay, I'll show you guys how to do an opt-in really quick. But does anyone have questions? Uh, yeah, how do you make those opt-ins? Like with Coca level or how do you make it? Yep, so how I do it is I go on sites and I build funnels, right? You only have to do one. Once you do one, you just duplicate it. I literally got a template, by the way. I literally got a template. In the first page, you can make it nicer than I did. Bro, I took like 15 minutes to make this. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I'll probably end up making a new one that looks nicer. But you just literally present what you do. Add a little image or something. You can add a preview. I've done a preview before where you just showcase. Maybe you can add a video explaining what you're going to give away for free. The more you spend time on it, the more conversions you'll get. And then here you add in your form. You know, the form happens to be semi-automated, free, whatever, whatever. Step one is to create the funnel. Once you create the funnel, actually you should create the, the form first, but you create a little form, literally name, email. You can add in phone number, maybe if you want, create the form, create the funnel, add the form to the funnel, and then create the automation. The automation is also super simple to make. All you have to do is once they submit the specific form that you created, you can, um, you can add them to a specific pipeline. For example, I have newsletter and then you can add the specific way that they came in from. So whatever you gave away, that's how they came in. Uh, I would suggest using tags and not opportunity source because then you can filter it out and see how many people opted into each. And then you send them a little email saying, Hey, you know, here's your free training video or whatever. Usually it's a loom. This one happens to be a, a notion page. And then you can check your statistics like bro, sending in to warm leads is crazy. Look, 80, 88% open rate. 48% click rate. And I just started doing this, so I still haven't really mastered it. But ideally, every time you do a free opt-in, add a little call to action here at the bottom with whatever you're actually selling for them to book in a call, for example. You guys get it? Did that help? Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Well, I wish you luck to everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed the call. I thought this call was like literally one of the best. So good luck on everyone with our challenge. I'll upload the recording tonight. And yeah, thank you for everyone who came. I'll see you guys in a bit. Appreciate you. Yeah. Bye-bye.